Heading over to the LA Convention Center, as the LA Art Show recently rolled into town for the 14th time, and it just keeps growing. Anna Marcos brings us the latest on LA's biggest art show. LA is already a trendsetter as a car culture and a movie mecca, so why not as an art maker? What started out as an art lover's pipe dream 14 years ago with 250 visitors is now drawing record crowds of as many as 70,000 people. And this year's L.A. Art Show is bigger and better than ever. L.A. is really responding to art in the last couple of years have really, um, really been attracted to the show. Among the novel things this year, Chinese ink drawings and Tan Se Kwa, a Korean art that is blowing up everywhere. There is also a growing Latin American section, which includes performance art like this. It symbolizes our current immigration woes. This artist performs naked on a clay bed with drops falling on his head. He was performing there as a part of the desert and working with the idea of the borders and it can be about crossing borders, about immigration, especially in this area. And, is and that what the clay means? Is yes, like sand? is like the sand, is the desert, yes. And then there is this tranny virtual reality experience. This is the multi-century installation Be Boy, Be Girl. And in Be Boy, Be Girl you can experience what it is to be or a boy or a girl. So you can choose what gender you are. Artwork like this, a sign of our times, in this case, are two major political parties eating each other alive. Video paintings like this run on a continuous loop and are getting more and more popular because you can frame and mount them on a wall using a computer or now even an iPad. Well, I love the movement. I love the colors, I love the ramifications, the meaning of it. Well, I think what's important today is emotion. And I believe that art creates emotion. You know, it creates hope, it creates curiosity, it creates happiness. And especially today, we need that in such an uncertain world. Whether you like multimedia, mural scenes, recreations, performance art, sculpture, or just plain old art on a wall. The LA Art Show keeps showcasing the latest and trendiest of art in an ever-changing culture. I'm Anna Marcos for LA This Week. And this is the first year that local museums also participated in the LA Art Show with exhibits of their own.